Okay, so you've been in the adult industry f- longer than I have, which is wild because I always feel like I'm like the oldest, longest lasting person. Well, you got ever. in young, so did I. And yeah. You also come from a long lineage of, of uh, proud pornographers. So, yeah. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, I guess I, I was sort of like have been in it yeah. since I began. Yes. Breathe, breath. Yes, yes. So um, tell me the biggest, some of the biggest changes you've seen in the adult industry since your time. The biggest one is is that. The biggest one is sort of, you know, the corporate sort of takeover of porn. And um, it's not it, it's not about sex anymore. You'd think, and it's kind of an odd thing to say, but porn is, very little of porn is about sex. It's about you clicking on shit and maybe paying for something somewhere because everything's free, right? So they kind of dug their own grave with that, um, with the tube sites. It's like, you know, we're going to get all this traffic and now we have all these eyeballs oh, fuck, now we have to monetize it. How are we going to do that? Well, I got an idea. I always do the French-Canadian accent, so I'm going to do that again. Uh, Jean-Pierre, uh, we have this great website. That everybody go to it every day. Uh, apparently more people go there than to CNN, but uh, not making any money. Uh, what do you suggest we do? Uh, Jean-Pierre, I have a great idea. We take a pretty girl, right, and an uh, attractive man, and uh, uh, they fuck? No, 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 no. <laughs> she is stuck in a washing machine or maybe dishwasher or something like that. Maybe she trip over an ironing board, and he's... Maybe he's in an easy chair. He's jerking off to some other porn that we don't know, and she fall on him. And uh, Jean Pierre, this is a brilliant idea. I think it's going to save the industry. Let's go to Tim Hortons, and then they go and they have coffee, and that's what happens. So, um, I if you if you as a consumer are so fucking tired of seeing the most, if, I call it cartoon porn now. There's no other word for it because <laughs> it's literally, it's just people in, in you know, I'm falling through a wall. I'm falling into a, into a, in a washing machine. I'm doing, you know, whatever. And everybody's always surprised that anybody's doing anything sexual. Every fucking porn scene now is like, what? You're my cock? Your bre- I don't understand. I thought we were in, I don't, so it's not about sex anymore. And if you want it to be about sex, stop fucking clicking on people stuck in washing machines. That's all I can say, all right? Then maybe they'll go, uh, you know, the washing machine is not converting anymore. Maybe we should, uh, I don't know, shoot uh, somebody sucking a cock. I don't know. Call me crazy. I probably just, I probably don't have any more work now, just so you know. So good thing I'm sober. I won't be able to afford alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's been the biggest change for me. <laughs> so for for all of you who are like, what is he talking about? These are called ad scenes. And essentially, if you go to any big tube site, you'll see these little like kind of speeded up GIFs um, that are showing these ridiculous, wild and wacky situations. And those are big traffic drivers and people tend to click on those. And then um, it might lead you to a website where this wild and wacky scene that of the girl stuck in a washing machine um, who falls into a guy in a recliner <laughs> is the girl in the washing machine. So speaking of ad scenes, so you've done like probably more ad scenes than anybody I know. Um, yeah. You're like the expert on ad scenes. In fact, m- my last couple shoots for Twisties, they started doing ad scenes again. And I was like, fuck this. Cause ad scenes are actually like the biggest pain in the ass to shoot. Um, and I called Mike and I was like, can I please pay you to just come and shoot this ad scene? And I literally like didn't do anything that day. Like I just sat back and let, and he was an amazing, like <laughs> I, I total expert. Like, yep. Girl hiding behind sofa. Other two come in. Don't know she's there. Uh, they're the, okay. I got this one. Don't worry about it. And We're then there's that, a guy yeah. that almost yeah, catches almost, them. Almost catch it. You almost all the time you're almost caught. And then at the end you do get caught and somebody's humiliated and somebody makes the home alone face and then, you know, whatever. <laughs> and if you can jerk off to that, uh, God bless you. That's all I can say. 